Hello guys, welcome to Cruise Control. A larger and more premium three-row Mazda SUV is coming into focus as the 2023 CX-90, which is expected to debut a new turbocharged inline six and a roomy, luxurious cabin. Mazda's current CX-9 crossover has charmed us with its athletic handling and handsome appearance, both of which we hope will translate to the CX-90. Mazda's premium aspirations lead us to believe that this range-topping, three-row, seven-seater will offer more luxury features than its current crop of SUV models does. All-wheel drive is likely to be standard across the range and a plug-in hybrid powertrain could be an option. The all-new longitudinal engine architecture that the CX-90 is built on is expected to also spawn a two-row SUV named CX-70, which should go on sale shortly after the CX-90. We expect to see these new Mazdas debut in late 2022 with sales beginning in early 2023. There's also speculation that this platform could form the basis of a rear drive based, mid size sport luxury sedan in the mold of the BMW 5 Series or Mercedes Benz A Class. The CX 90 will be a new nameplate for the Mazda brand when it goes into production in late 2022. It is unknown if the CX-90 will replace the current CX-9 in Mazda's lineup or if it will be offered alongside the smaller three-row model moving forward. Mazda hasn't announced pricing or trim levels for the CX-90 but we expect it to follow the brand's current structure and start around $40,000. When Mazda releases more information on the CX-90's standard and optional features, we'll update this story with those details and recommend which one represents the best buy. When the CX-90 launches, it should be the first Mazda to use a new turbocharged 3-liter inline-six engine that is expected to be augmented by a 48-volt hybrid system. Such a powertrain is a hallmark of SUVs such as the BMW X5 and the Land Rover Range Rover Sport, signaling Mazda's desire to move its brand even more toward the premium end of the market. A plug-in hybrid variant is also likely, possibly using the same 323 HP setup that's used in the European market CX-60 SUV, which is comprised of an inline four-cylinder engine, an electric motor, and a 17.8 kWh battery pack. Much like the rest of the Mazda SUV lineup, we expect the CX-90 to come standard with all-wheel drive.